do ba do 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 sharky breath. He plays video games. How you doing, buddy? Hello, welcome back to Control. Wow, that's some bottom lighting. What is, where is that even coming from? I'm really not sure. Is the control point itself glowing? It is. Do they all do that? Did I never notice that and that's been happening the whole time? Or is that some side effect of the nail being reconstructed? Who knows? In any case, all there is left to do is go to the bottom of the nail, so before I do that, I'm gonna go see if I can find that fourth recording. You will not have to watch most of the process because I have no idea how long this is gonna take, but I will see you... I, I will, I'll, I'll scrap in whatever is relevant, okay? All right, see you soon, hopefully. Oh, hello. It's really weird what they've been doing with the hiss lately, where they just sort of have them hanging around in the passageways, and I just stumble into them, and then they're like, Wow, ah, what are you doing here? After I shoot them in the face. I'm okay with it, but it's very strange. Well, now that might be something. But I swear I've come in. I haven't come in here before. There's documents. Ah, documents. Okay, what we got? Adventure accepted. Okay. Uh, dearest Mr. Talbot, my heartiest congratulations for achieving something that few others have. Consider my curiosity thoroughly yours. For who wouldn't be intrigued when the United States government claims to need an expert spelunker to explore the depths of a cave the likes of which no man has ever seen? A subterranean channel beneath the very heart of New York City is fascinating in and of itself. Sorry about that, dropping stuff. It's fine. I have, I have explored every cave system from Kentucky to Kathmandu, but a formation below America's own Big Apple is a welcome surprise. You are certainly building... Whoops, I moused off of it. You are still certainly building grand expectations. Do not let me down. I have decided to come see this mystifying cave myself. And my assistant will be in touch with the details of my arrival. As requested, I will avoid making an announcement to the press, but I cannot guarantee that my travels will slip past their notice. The world is always waiting for a word of Robert Ricardo's next grand endeavor. Such is the burden of a globe-trotting man of adventure such as myself. Such is the way of adventure. Keep exploring, Bob Ricardo. Okay, so somebody stumbled into the Foundation itself and contacted a celebrity about it, and they definitely intercepted that letter. That's not too surprising. Okay, cool. The hotline had something in it. I should probably check that out, too. And I will in a moment, but I'm pretty sure this recording over here is the one I've been looking for. Either that, or I found a different secret. And, uh, we'll have to keep thinking. Hey, it's it! Entry day. The name of our historic arrival to the oldest house. Entry day, huh? Morale is long dead, and its corpse is starting to smell. Great! My research staff complain of a presence watching them. The nail, presumably. Many have suffered nervous fits. Some were evacuated. Mm hmm Interior news. I've made some new friends. Have you? I met them while exploring the deeper cave. Is that cheerier news? They're hard to describe. But imagine avant-garde sculptures of humans. Shush, I'm busy. I call them the id. The id. They aren't hostile. Uh-huh. In fact, they're polite and quiet. Which is more than I can say for my colleagues. Most id are shy, but a few were quite curious. Avant-garde sculptures of humans. While I sat taking notes, one came to look at my sketches. I offered him my pencil, but that spooked it. Hmm. What are the id? Residents? Prisoners? No idea, and why haven't I seen anything of they them? They remind me of the golems from Kabbalistic texts, or a type of homunculi. When they were just here, though. I know I shouldn't. Wait! I gave them names. Wait! There's Hercules, Adam, Lilith, Copernicus. Uh -huh. Mabel is the bravest. They're a funny bunch. Strange that Mabel... Like, the rest of those are very, like, mythologically significant names. And then there's Mabel. <laughs> I Maybe I just don't know the origins of the name Mabel. That's uh, certainly a possibility. 
But okay, so he ran into a group of astral inhabitants, didn't he? But they weren't hostile to him, they're just hostile to me. Interesting. So I have run into the things that he called the id. It's just that they try to kill me, and therefore I try to kill them. There's a mutual aggression thing there that was not apparently there when Ash first came here. But didn't he talk about the id killing people later on? In, in log number six? Maybe. So Ash, as we've already discovered, was contacted somehow by the thing that exists here that is older than the board. Something from the astral plane for sure. Probably not Former would be my guess, but I don't honestly know that for a fact, because it seems like Former used, I mean, given the name, right, used to be part of the board itself until it was cast out. In fact, I think we've gotten that information elsewhere, haven't we? I think so. I could be making things up, though. I do that sometimes. It also has occurred to me that the name Former, you can, there's a secondary meaning there, that, you know, like a, like a synonym for creator, basically, or like sculptor, maybe. But I don't, uh, I don't honestly know which meaning of former we're dealing with. My guess would be that it's the one I was assuming the whole time, where it's like a former member of the board, but I genuinely don't know. And I don't know anything about this astral presence, but I found the thing I was looking for, so I guess let's get to the nail. All right? All right. Wait, abilities. Look at that. Look at all these abilities. Dang. Okay. Why don't we get energy? And, oh, I don't know. How about... Wow, that's cheap. Why is health so expensive and that's so cheap? Huh. Because it's only half the energy that this one was, I see. This was a big one, and then this is a small one. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go get with one health and one energy then. And if we happen to get more skill points on the way, then great. More energy for me. I was fast traveling. What am I doing? Fast travel! Oh, hey again, buddy. How you doing? Not great. Not great, clearly. All right, we're back, and it's time to... Uh, are we going down there? Oh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. You got anything to say? Try not to launch me, Director. I... Nah, I'm just kidding. Sure. I don't think I... Well, I probably could if I tried, but... Hang on. Not gonna lie. Uh-huh. Those earthquakes are making me a little uneasy. As they should, probably. Like, something is going on down there, and I'm going to have to do something about it. But all I have is a gun and mind powers, so, like, I don't know how this is going to work out. Got your typewriter. I will not launch it directly at him, just in case I can accidentally kill the rangers, in which case I do not wish to find that out. I was absolutely going to... Huh? What? Stop talking as I'm walking away. It's really annoying. Anyway, um... I was going to throw it at him, but then I realized it was a bad idea. That's what happened there. You got anything else to say, Emily, before I descend into the pit? If you're not going to listen to me, then you got to go figure out how to stop this. Okay. There's no telling what could happen if the vibrations escalate. Well, I mean, yes, there is. You just mentioned it. Both dimensions could die or, or be shattered or whatever. Anyway, exit. I'll see you later, Emily. Maybe. Good luck. Thanks. Take notes. You did say that, but I do not carry paper or pencil, and so unless you want notes... Written in gun, I guess. I guess we're not really getting along right now, are we, Emily? Because I decided not to listen to you and instead go shoot things. I guess that's reasonable. All right, enough stalling. Let's go jump in a giant pit. I hope I know what I'm doing. You don't, and that's how we've done things the whole time. So here we go. Woo! Hmm. Well, it isn't as deep as I was expecting initially. That was just top of the nail? Uh, seemingly, yes. How much deeper does the foundation go? Oh, presumably quite deep. Uh, we've got a recording here. That's convenient. Day plus one hey, log seven. I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. Changed, you say? I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins, to hear it breathe. Uh-huh. I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. That's a problem. I have added my own illustrations to the walls. Trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers. Are the cave paintings yours then? I have to avoid the it as I do so. They haunt me. Really? I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. The pillar's trying to kill you? Poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. Uh huh. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Right, the the, the locks that I destroyed. Used to be a forest. I didn't. I wonder if our oldest house. Were a different face back then. 
or if it was always here. Just a house, you mean? A 21st century office building since time immemorial. That seems unlikely, but I guess I don't know. Can a place know of the future? Can it change its skin? Can it I feel like a lot of normal rules don't apply to this place. I thought the esoteric world was my father's, not mine. Uh-huh. But here, in this sacred place, I finally understand his devotion. I guess I get that. You've been exposed to things you cannot possibly understand. And with a science brain, you probably weren't expecting that. I guess I don't know. In any case, I forgot that I was going to listen to something from the hotline. Let's check it out. Collectibles. Hotline. What did I miss? Astral Entities. Apologies. How embarrassing. Astral fellows slash shades are acting hostile slash very rude. We cannot direct behavior. Hmm. In external slash not astral regions. Promise slash fingers crossed. Hmm. Promise slash fingers crossed. Huh. Huh. So there's two ways to take fingers crossed. One is, you cross your fingers to hope that something is, you know, the, the way that you hope it is. As kind of like a, a charm for that. The other is lying. They claim to be able to control astral creatures out when they're in astral space, but I feel like the astral creatures still attack me when I'm in astral space, don't they? Or maybe have I just been shooting them immediately and therefore they fight back? I guess I don't know. They're fighting the hiss for sure. I, I, I just assumed they were all against me, but maybe I'm wrong? <laughs> maybe I've just been shooting too many things? Is that the lesson here? Shoot less things? Fewer things, whichever. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, cool. So the board can't control the astral entities anymore. Something else is controlling them. Either they are running, either they are rampaging, or there's something else controlling them, presumably the older thing that is here. Lower crossroads, you say. Okay, that seems bad. Un instability. Not necessarily a great thing. I haven't seen much of that since I got down here the first, in the first place, but that... I'm not sure why this is happening right now. Is it my presence that's affecting them? Wait, now they're disintegrating. They're just extending because I'm walking by? That's a little weird. Uh, yes. One gets that impression, doesn't they? Don't they? Hmm. So we got fast crystals now. Presumably if I hover too close to those, it will stab me. In a way that will not be easy to shrug off, I'm guessing. Getting impaled on crystal spikes seems pretty terminal, if I had to guess. Huh. Maybe if I blast my way through that, and then... Oof, that was close. There, and then... Ouch! Okay, cool. That did hit me. It didn't hurt, but it did knock me out of the sky. Interesting. Interesting. Not the uh, reaction I was expecting from getting stabbed with crystals, but uh, an acceptable one under the circumstances. Huh? Oh, that's a problem. Did they? As one might expect. Right? I mean, you're not supposed to. Let's find out what she actually had to say. Two birds, one bomb. Okay. I tried to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. The one that I've seen earlier, I suppose. I escaped, but my HRA was damaged. Mm -hmm. I'd bet a year's salary the board said it. We never did see eye to eye. I don't like it when you blow things up, I guess. They have too much control. Over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Because they see the rest of y'all as insignificant. Nothing a little C4 can't do. I'm not sure that's true. Two birds, one bomb. Uh huh. Christ, what a mess. But I stopped the hiss. I did. You did not. If Faden did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Did you? Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. Do you think so? She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same trap. Really? 
She'll lead her way. I mean... So, Director Faden, here's my last lesson. You can save everybody. I take it you knew that I would hear this then. You're a bit of a mystery, aren't you? You are, Marshall. How much did she know? Because obviously she knew more than the board wanted her to know. Was she on the right track with blowing up the nail? Was it? I mean, clearly things have gone worse since I fixed the nail. And I no longer really can trust the board since I accepted former's aid. And I'm not sure I ever could really trust them to begin with. But now, clearly, something is out to stop me. And this is a place of the board's influence, is it not? Unless it's the older thing that I've heard rumors about, but I don't know anything practical about it. Just that it supposedly exists, according to Ash. Huh. Going a long way down, though, aren't we? We sure are. We sure are. The crystal formations are getting beefier. I don't really need to be blowing them up, but I, it occurs to me that they might be hiding stuff behind the crystals, you know? That seems like a thing they would do around here. But unsurprisingly, no actual boxes or anything down here. That said, I wouldn't be surprised if there were some more um, ash recordings, you know? No, that's not something I can stand on. This is not helpful to me. Come on, get... There we go. There we go. Perhaps I'm too far down for there to be anything significant or hidden. I don't know. Wow, look at that! That seems bad. Nice that there's a control point directly outside of it, though. Thanks, Dr. Ash. I'll just, um... Hobble my way on over here. Hey, look, a final recording. How did I know? Bonk. Warp. Great, I got it. I got it. What is this? Is this a ranger calling station? That seems like a terrible idea. They just die. Anyway. Nobody else hears the house. Uh-huh. Their ears are too full of lies. Wow, you sound trustworthy. We were shown the way inside so we could help. But all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. Who, help who? I should have seen the web earlier. The strands between Northmore, the pillar, the gun, the id. What hope did we have? Thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. Okay. I've decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels to end my long absence spent in the Foundation. I'm sure that'll go great. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way. But I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. Mm -hmm. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course. But I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion? I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. Oh, for a second I thought you meant like... I wish I could tell him that. A figurative father. No, you meant your real father. Okay, so, if I'm interpreting this correctly, Ash is saying that the oldest house and the presence within the oldest house drew people into the oldest house for the purposes of excising the parasite, which I'm guessing means the board. However, instead of that, the board contacted the people who came into the oldest house and turned them to its own will by acting like it was the one who summoned them in the first place. But according to Ash, that's not the case. Now, what happened to Ash after he returned to the oldest house? That I don't honestly know. I don't know that there's been much mention of it. And if there was, it was like a year ago when I found out about it, and I just don't remember. But it sounds like he was going back to the oldest house for the with the purpose of steering Northmore away from the board, but Northmore had completely, was completely boarded at that point. So I can't imagine that went particularly well. I can't imagine he lived, or lived in a particularly healthy fashion. I mean, his death was probably bad, is all I'm saying. It was probably bad. So what am I doing here? And why is the board trying to stop me getting here? Are they trying to stop getting me here? Stop me from getting here? Are they lying to me about not being able to control things? I'm not positive. I don't know what they want from me anymore. So let's just summon a ranger and get in there. Director Faden here. Send back up to my little Yeah, because you know where I am. Promise. Yeah, apparently you do. Make way for the cool. Well, let's just, um... 
Head in there, why don't we? That seems great. Hang on, hang on before I do that. Before I do that, new clip. Hold up. There we go, that's more like it. All right. All right. What are those? Yeah, you go in and check it out. Some kind of crystal things on the ground. There's somebody in front of that big... Oh, that's the base of the nail. I don't know who that is, though. Probably Marshall? Looks like the person's carrying a giant gun, so, you know, probably Marshall. All right. Here we go. Lower crossroads. Marshall, how you doing? Yep, figured. Can I help you? Marshall? You're alive. In a manner of speaking. You will no longer recognize us, or yourself, or him, or her. Them. So you're hissed. Family is dead. The walls are broken, but yellow and red and yellow. Yes, you are. Damn it. Uh-huh. They do. I mean, yes, you are. She's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. Alright, here we go. Defeat Marshall. Sure. Ah, that's a bomb. I'll just go ahead and throw that back at you. See if you don't mind. Phew. I can drop you in a pit. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. Oh, you teleport. That's a neat ability you have there, Marshall. Ow, stop it. Okay, okay, let's see. Probably use a shield so we don't get shot by bullets. No, thanks. No, thanks. All right, all right. Yeah, sure. Grenades, grenades. More hiss. That seems unfortunate. Uh, but it doesn't mean I have a way to heal up if I can kill them. So let's, um... Ooh, hello. Go ahead and... Spike him, spike him, please. Spike him. Okay, I did not manage to... Oh, I was supposed to close off the wall. I see. But I didn't. And that's fine, I guess. I can't see what I'm doing. There. Great. Got that one. That one exploded himself. Thank you for that. Where's Marshall? Hello, Marshall. Okay. No, thank you. Grab some more stuff. Throw it at your face. Nice dodge. Where's she at? There she at. Don't go kill my ranger. Don't you kill my ranger. He used to be your ranger, didn't he? I feel like Marshall used to be in control of the Rangers, right? That was the thing, wasn't it? I'm glad you're taking this in stride, Ranger. Also, you just got meleeed by Marshall and just sort of stepped back a moment? Like, that's impressive, I think. Oh, you've changed into one of those. You got yourself a pickaxe and you've summoned more of them. That's horrible. That's horrible. I didn't realize I could throw these people's pickaxes back. I don't know if they count as people. I probably shouldn't use that word in this particular context, huh? Are his people? I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, no. Mm, no. Mm, ah, okay. No, thank you. No, thank you. I sometimes wish that the spike button wasn't the same as the pick up object telekinetically button because I definitely get them mixed up when I least want it. That is to say, I was definitely trying to throw rocks at the guy who was charging at me with the pickaxe, but instead he, um. Instead I pulled up the spikes directly behind him, which was not helpful. Wow! Did you just go translucent? Is that a thing you can do, Marshall? That's impressive! Okay, hi. Cool, no thanks. Um, let's go ahead and throw some stuff with the sharpened. I can take that one over. Let's do so. Great. Because doing so also heals me up. Very convenient, that. Assistant sent champion endure. Okay, cool. Thanks, former. That seems weird. Ow. Well. Guess we try again. Right. I guess we try again. <laughs> Ranger, help me! You were actually very helpful. Send back up to my location. I don't know how you got so powerful, but I sure appreciate it. They're really not. They're really not, my dude. But we'll do our best, okay? We'll do our best. That's all we can do. Okay. Marshall, hello. Oh, thank you. We're in the grenade phase. I see, I see. That's fine. Missed. Throwing stuff, throwing stuff, throw stuff. Well, she's too tired to dodge. That's when we throw stuff. Uh, okay, she's quasi-invisible again. Not sure what to make of that whole thing. And she has vanished. Impressive. Okay. Trying to keep pressure on her, you know? Trying to keep pressure, but okay, you're not, Marshall. You're... Okay, you fell in a hole. I guess that's fine. Oh, whoops. Get rid of those, please. Get rid of those, please. Uh, okay, cool. That was the spikes and not picking one of them up like I wanted to do. Again, that same thing where... Spikes is the same button as throw stuff. Not helpful, that's what it is. Sorry, Marshall. I mean, not Marshall. Ranger. They're both words that can mean, like, fighter guy with gun, you know? That's why I got that confused. Anyway. Um, oh, hi. 
didn't realize you were in here. Wish that you weren't. There we go. Now you're not. Uh, oh, was that Marshall attacking me from the corner? Wait, was that sniper just now my own ranger? That's a problem. Did you, did you take control of my ranger? I didn't realize that was a thing you could do. That's impressive. I wish that you didn't. He's definitely gone, though, huh? Either you can took control of him or you pushed him off a cliff, and either way, he's dead. Well, all right. I sh unfortunate. I try to avoid such things, you know? Let's throw that... Let's close that wall off, if you would, please. Thank you. Good. Okay, good. Now let's just go over here. Let's shoot you. Great. Throw stuff at that one. Throw more stuff at that one. Great. Okay. Throw stuff at you. She's gone. No, she's over there. Where? Wait, is that my ranger? Oh, no, that's backup. That's... That's backup? That's the stuff that... That's the stuff that former sent to help. Interesting. How are you able to control those former? Are you saying that those astral thingies are your? Oh, are you? That's convenient. Wait, you don't have an arm anymore. What happened? Did I knock her arm off? I guess we are fighting pretty intensely. It's not unreasonable that I knock her, I would knock her arm off, but I didn't think that was a thing you could do to the hiss. Just because it's never happened before, I guess. I don't know. Throw stuff. Good. Shoot stuff. Good. Throws and shoot stuff at the same time. Impossible. That's okay. Ow! Stop it! Ah! R sniper. No sniper, thank you. Uh, sniper, no sniping, as they say. Where are you? There you are! Get out of here! Stop it! Stop it! Got him. Okay, alright, alright. Let's take some stuff to throw at you. Oh, hey, look! More floaty guys. More, more, uh, more backup. That's nice. Thank you, former. I guess I appreciate it. It's weird, though, isn't it? It's pretty weird, though, and I feel like the board are not gonna like this, but they're not gonna like a lot of things, it turns out. Wow! Okay, cool. That was Marshall. Hello. No, thanks. No, thank you. Stop it! More healing, please. More healing. How are you throwing so many grenades at once? I can't even see them, but I can hear them, you know? Shoot the Marshall. Shoot Marshall. Shoot... I don't have anything. I don't have anything left. Okay, stop. Where? Where? Huh? Hello? No, thanks. Cool, that hurt. Can we not do that? I'm apparently not trying to not kill you, you know? Whoops. Wow, that's a lot of grenades, all right. That's a lot of grenades. Oof. Oof. The nail is corrupted. I guess? It explains why the board wasn't answering and what's causing the quakes. Uh, Jesse? Marshall came down here to stop this. I should have been with her. I could have saved her. She didn't tell you about it. She didn't trust you else. for that. No, she did trust me. She did, she did trust you. She just wanted you to be doing your own work elsewhere, I guess? Also, were you not paying attention to Ash's logs? It's not that the nail is corrupted, is it? That doesn't seem right. Yes, the hiss are here, and that's a bad thing, but, like... It's not gonna be so simple as all that, right? It can't be so simple as all that. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll... I guess I'll de-hiss the nail, but I feel like there's gonna be more problems beyond that. Cleanse the nail, you say, huh? Okay. Here we go. Every time I've cleansed something of the of the hiss before, it destroyed it. Just want to throw that out there. Well, that went better than expected. We are cleansed slash liberated slash hallelujah. The foundation is stable slash beaten slash A-OK. -okay. We hope you will improve your attitude slash loyalty. Fuck you too. Uh-huh. Oh, I'll be sure to. Let's play it smart. Yeah. You don't need to know I'm onto them. Not yeah. Anyway. Great. So we did we were listening. We did we did register what Ash said. That's good. Return to the crossroads. Unmapped area. Great. Can I explore these side rooms? Oh. That's a yes. That is a yes. Well, let's explore them then. Ah, uh, it seems to lead to a big hole. All right, well, let's try and get a little bit further in here. Oh, hi, former. You're just here, huh? And it's gotten very dark. The nail is secure. The hiss can't touch it. 
I can't undo the astral bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Uh huh. Along with the seismic activity, you did it, Jesse. Did I? Did you ever find Marshall? Oh, I did. I did. She's gone. A little bit. She died thinking she'd save the bureau. Not a bad way to go. I suppose that's true. I wasn't ready for this crisis. I didn't even see it coming. Yeah, I mean, that's not too I surprising. I promise, I'll be ready for the next one. I mean, what good is a director who can't hold her bureau together? What was the significance of of a pyramid rotating? It's up. It's it's reversing their stance, right? Are we just straight up making an enemy out of the board now? Are we are we straight up antagonizing them? Ho 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 ho. But I'm guessing that's where the game actually ends, huh? <laughs> I thought I know how to handle things now that I'm the director. That would be convenient if it were so. Clearly, it's not that simple. We never really get information without a reason for it. I that's not what I mean to say. A Hang on. For the bureau. Uh huh. It should be one that serves our goals. Not the board. What are our goals? Whatever those are. Sure. I need to lead my way. That is what Marshall said. What now? What now? Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Gotcha. So it was just a moment of personal development, was it? Okay, okay, cool. Let's check in with Emily Pope, though, huh? Hello. 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 Now that this nail business is handled, I should probably be getting back to executive. Probably. But maybe I'll keep poking around. Don't get too attached down here. Just for a little bit. Sure. I guess. Nail field, you say. Okay. North. Na yeah. Nail field first. Has the nail been doing anything since we restored it? Define anything. I mean, anything it seems broad. Unusual. Define unusual. You're not very helpful, Emily Pope. Emily. Sorry, but the answer is a whopping yes. Uh -huh. Now that it's whole, the nail is emitting a constant field of, well, think of it like low-level radiation. Kind of like the hiss? It seems to suppress any biological matter it encounters. What does that mean? This explains why nothing grows here oh. and why the Bureau had to abandon the area. Uh-huh. Prolonged exposure would certainly begin affecting neural processes. Oh, right. Ash mentioned that. Wait. Was the field created when I cleansed the nail? I considered that, but the nail's readings are quite different from the ones I recorded at the cleanse control points. Uh-huh. I think the nail's field is purely of its own making. In fact, I think it would passively prevent any his corruption, like the HRAs do. Which makes me wonder what actually occurred when you cleansed the nail. That's a good question. I've been wondering about that myself. Did the board let the his corrupt the nail? It kind of seems like it, doesn't it? want me to cleanse it? A little bit. If so... Why? To excise something else besides the hiss, that would be my guess. But what do I know about it? Northmore. What do you know about Director Northmore? Well, uh, he was Director Trench's predecessor, and Northmore is famous for being the first board-appointed director. Mm -hmm. See, before we found the oldest house, directors were picked by committees of old men in suits, drinking cognac and smoking cigars or whatever. Like old men do. Yeah, standard, uninteresting methods. Sure. I think the word you're looking for is bureaucratic. Uninteresting works. Or antiquated. Yeah. Regardless, Northmore was eventually forced to... Well, we don't need to go into that. Yes, we do! Strangely, the only two board-appointed directors left the position under uh, unusual circumstances. He died? Is that what you're trying to say? Points a director, then how did they retire? They shoot them with the gun. I doubt they go out and buy you a gold watch. Wait, I shot him with the gun. Sorry, Jesse, I, I didn't mean to imply... Yes, you did, and it's fine. If anyone's getting shown the door, it's them. We're gonna try anyway. I don't know exactly how that's going to work, but, um, talk to me about Former. What do you know about an entity named Former? I can't say I've heard of it. You got any details for me? No, I mean, it's a giant grub-looking well, thing with... Imagine a one-eyed bug thing. With, like, six state arms? I think it was a part of the board, but then something happened, and now it's... separate? Interesting. Hey, you could say I've that. I've always wondered if the board was some sort of entity or group or conglomerate of linked consciousnesses, but this supports the group theory. Right. Although I could have undergone some sort of corporeal exile. It seems that way. 
Too many unknowns to form a working hypothesis yet. Right, but, but the game's I about to end. This matter in future astral dives if you think it's important. It's probably important. Fortune favors the prepared. Do it. Great. Astral dives. All right. Thanks, Emily. I'm going to keep looking around. Apparently. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field work. You're doing field work right the heck now. And and also I I um I did it without 30 hours of field training. By the way, I guess I got 30 hours of field training, but it was mostly like from dying repeatedly. I I can't say as I recommend it for you, Emily. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Hang on. Let me let me see here. Do I have any new missions? I don't. I do not have any missions. I'm out of missions. Okay, what else do we have in here? Multimedia. Probably this is going to be the one log that I found, right? Yes, log 8 purpose. Okay, okay. Hotline. What do we got for me, hotline? Departure. Departure. No, not astral entities. Departure, dang it. Another crisis slash workday resolved. But scrutiny is not permitted slash enjoyed. Tell the sidekick slash pope slash snoop to leave, please, slash immediately. Before it is time to begin slash become the next task slash ch chapter slash stage. We will be with you soon, Jesse slash Dylan Faden. What did you just say to me? On red. No, I, I just saw that one, yeah. I probably should have been using this toggle for a lot of stuff the entire time I've been playing this game, huh? We will be with you soon, Jesse slash Dylan Faden. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's sure something, huh? That's sure something. Just grab these. I won't need them, but I'll grab them. Great. Let's, um... I guess let's head back up to executive and make sure there's nothing else going on, yeah? Central executive. Central executive. I can say words. Harish? There he is. Harish! Oh, I can't believe the emergency rations don't include beer. That does seem like an oversight. I mean, there is other stuff to drink. There's like a teapot right the heck there, but I guess you only drink beer? My condolences. That seems bad for working hours. But anyway, F! Never thought I'd be working in the you have nothing else to say? No, ma. Arish. Arish does not acknowledge that anything has changed. Well, later. fine. You know where I'll be. I do know where you'll be, and I know what you'll say, too, apparently. Emily, are you back? Emily's back. Anything different, Emily? No, because this isn't DLC content? Probably not. Hi, Jesse. Hi. Yep. Yep, that's it. Well, We're done. We have did it. We're Jesus. done. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. And maybe the reason that it's... Please, Emily. Hmm. Not even as a joke. It almost feels like it's been left open for more DLC, but I'm pretty sure there isn't any more pending, yeah? At least not to my knowledge, anyway. So I guess that's as much of the story as we're getting. Jesse has found out that the board's motives are not exactly in line with those of the Bureau, and that's not surprising. And apparently she plans to deal with it as necessary. Strat what down? What? What are we talking about? He's not, I, he's got a soul, he's just in a coma, it's different. I'm also standing right here, you two. Man, with this. Okay, listen, we're done. I'm pretty sure we're done. Jesse's got her hands full, but apparently we no longer do. So this, I guess, has been control the foundation, and control in general. I will have to leave it off here. I have no idea what'll happen, how Jesse will possibly stand up to the board if they decide to put things down in here, but she does have a gun and brain powers, and I think those will stick around even if the board turns on her. But, I don't know. It seems... It seems like a lot to bite off, but I guess that's pretty much what been... Would you... I'm talking. Would you go... Thank you. That's pretty much what been... been the director job has been a lot to bite off the entire time, and that's not going to change, so... I guess she'll just take it as it comes, as she always has, and... Yeah, but... If you say so. We're talking about the hiss? I don't know. 
I guess you're talking about the hiss. Sure, it could make a good fictional episode. It just did. Technically, this is a video game, but whatever. We did it. It's done. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else here. I mean, no, there are other things in secret rooms that I did not find throughout the game, but there's too much... There's too much map for me to go find him at this point, I'm pretty sure. And I don't think anything significant about the plot is going to change. I think we've run its course. So, thank you for watching. This has been Control. It was amazing. It, it very much like, I mean, it, it reminiscent of SCPs, obviously, but like different. It's a whole different thing. And I really, I really enjoyed it. And I hope you did too. Really, really good work. I enjoyed it very, very much. It was hard, but I mean, that's never stopped me before, has it? No, pretty much not. Cool. Well, I don't know what's happening next time, but apparently not control. So, the, again, this is this was control. I'm Sharky, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.